Hats are, are an important iconographic feature in uh, Himalayan and Tibetan art, and important for iconography and important for, for recognizing different religious traditions. The most interesting of all of the different schools of Buddhism with regard to hats is, uh, is the Karmakagyu. The Karmakagyu are, are especially known for the black hat of the Karmapa, the red hat of the Shamarpa, and often they're referred to as the uh, black and red hat Karmapas, uh, both being referred to as Karmapas. Then we have the uh, Gyatsap, the, the regent of uh, the main Karmakagyu monastery, uh, Tsurpu, and, and the Gyatsap Rinpoche also has a hat that is identical to the uh, Shamars and black hat of the Karmapas with very minor differences. Then we have also the hat of uh, Tai Situ is almost identical to, to these hats. Uh, very minor uh, differences can be found in the ornamentation, such as the clouds on the side of the hat, the Karmapa hat, and the, the, uh, the Tai Situ hat, the clouds, uh, they, they trail forward, whereas with the Shamar hat, they trail backward. But a very curious thing that's come up in the last uh, 10 years or so is the discovery of a white hat. There is a Karmakagyu incarnate lama from the uh, Khan region of eastern Tibet named Satsa Drupgun Rinpoche. And uh, we are now, we're now up to the, uh, I guess, the, the ninth uh, Satsa incarnation. And uh, according to the history of, of this monastery, Satsa Monastery, and this incarnate lama, uh, this teacher was given a white hat identical to the black hat, but a white hat by the eighth Karmapa. And so then we have this tradition coming down of an of a, of a identical white hat, same as, as, the, as the Shamar, same as Karmapa, uh, essentially identical to the um, Tai Situ hat, very minor uh, decorative elements uh, to distinguish them apart. So this is a very curious thing. Now, why is it white? Well, according to the, to the history of, uh, of uh, Tsatsa Rinpoche, um, a written text, then it was because the Eighth Karmapa saw qualities in this teacher and student saw qualities that were the characteristic of the wisdom and learning of the goddess Sarasvati. Now, not necessarily the Hindu Sarasvati, but the Buddhist version of Vajra uh, Vina Sarasvati, um, who's white in color, one face, two hands, holds a, an instrument, um, a stringed instrument. And so because of her, her main uh, physical characteristic is being beautiful and white in color, so the hat was uh, made to be white to represent uh, Sarasvati and her qualities. So this is a very interesting, uh, curious thing. But it's also very interesting with the Karmakagyu because we have numerous written accounts of the history of their hats. And this is really not common with the other religious traditions of Tibet, where, where people are, are so interested in, in coming up with and writing down the history of the development of their hats and the spiritual importance of their hats. So this is just an introduction to the white hat of the Tsatsa Drupgun Rinpoche.